Okay, what is going on? Cam here with another video. And uh, guys, in this video, I am gonna make it short. Uh, I'm gonna keep it under five minutes here. Uh, but, you know, going back to why I'm creating these journey videos, I really wanna document and as I'm going through this, there's, as anyone is going through their kind of journey on uh, building themselves, building a career for themselves, developing a relationship, whatever it might be that is significant to them and significant to that, that uh, part of your life, uh, that, that was poorly said, but I think there's a lot of key moments that we overlook to document um, or we just don't even think to do it in, in general. And I was just having one of those as I've been uh, working away this morning. It's, uh, it's approaching nine o'clock right now. I've been working since about seven. Um, and I'm slowly working away on, my, on some of my personal brand stuff and, and really refining what that looks like, how it sounds. And uh, I'm going through my story right now. And it's, it's, it's really interesting. I would encourage everyone, regardless of if you plan to build your, your personal brand or not, which I would recommend, go listen to Lewis Howe's podcast episode uh, 1191 with Rory Vader, I think it was. And he talks about regardless of if you're building a business, you should. That's point aside. Um, the one thing a lot, of, a lot of marketers talk about is really honing in your story and what your story is and, and, and picking out those key moments and what I'm kind of calling like these unlocks, these like next levels uh, in your life. And it's crazy because I've, I've done this from a very like, uh, uh, I've never really documented it the way I'm documenting it right now and like taking time to really pull this out of myself. So I think it's really important, especially as you go into life and you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years of life, it's hard to go back and really nail down what happened when you're 19, when you're you know 59 or 49. But the cool thing is, regardless of that, is to see how these correlations start to play into your life and why something happened over here that then affected you over here. And I've had these come into my life and I've recognized these, these small snippets. But to see these small snippets kind of group together into this larger network uh, and build this path is, is really, really cool. And almost how the onion has been pulled back, especially how I'm focusing my story, um, focusing what I'm looking for is the key areas of mind, body and spirit. And so how did that unlock? What stages of my body did I unlock and when? And, and how has that changed who I am? And so I would really encourage you to go and do that and take some time over this next week or over this next year. And slowly, just anytime you go to journal or anytime you have some free time, just think about pop open a notes tab on your phone when you're uh, sitting sitting outside and, and you know you just finished a walk or like if you're at the airport or you know, it, you're winding down the day, like just take some time and, and, and pull out those key moments in your life that, you know, has been either for better or worse memories that stick out because they probably stick out for a reason. They're probably anchored in your memory for a reason. And that's what I'm finding. And it, it is really crazy to think about these moments really deeply, the, uh, the thought in emotion and the level of uh, the, the perspective I had on life at that point in time and how that's changed. So that's all I really want to talk about right now. Uh, just recap, building my personal brand and, and uh, kind of the foundation, really I'm not building it because I'm not posting content right now besides this, um, but I'm kind of developing that foundation to give myself a, a solid start and, and alignment to who I want to reach and how my story relates to them. And I just wanted to share this moment because these are the moments that I really want to document kind of more on the fly and not let it all happen and then come back and shoot, you know, a 20, 30 minute video like I have been before. So that is all. It is Wednesday when I'm shooting this little hump day. Hope the week has been well for you. And uh, listen, stay learning, stay moving and stay well. Till next time, guys, like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep on keeping on. Okay. See ya.